a look at another freezing point depression problem. In this case, we're going to look at an ionic solute. In the previous example, we had a molecular solute. Let's see if it makes a difference. Let's estimate the freezing point of a 0.22 moal calcium chloride solution. We're going to assume, since this is an ionic compound, that this solution is an aqueous solution, which means that this particular salt is dissolved in water. Now, our equation that you should memorize is that the change in freezing, the freezing point uh, depression, the, is equal to the uh, freezing point depression constant times the moal concentration of the solute in the solvent. Now, you need to think for a minute, however, with this particular case. If you have uh, water and you put calcium chloride, which is an ionic compound, into the water, it will, of course, dissociate, that is, separate into its individual component ions. And in this case, you'll have calcium ions. And for every one calcium ion that dissolves, you have two chloride anions. So although the concentration of the formula unit, calcium chloride, is equal to 0.22 moal, the actual concentration of the ions is what matters here, because it's not the what, it's the how much. And so remember, the chemist, although we read it as 0.22 moal calcium chloride, I know in my head when I put calcium chloride solid into this water, I end up with a ratio of one mole of calcium ions for every two moles of chloride anions. So in that case, then, the concentration of the ions is the moal concentration of the ions is actually equal to 0.66 moal. So when I calculate the freezing point depression, I use the, um, the constant from the table, which is 1.86 degrees Celsius um, mole per kilogram, and I multiply that by the moal concentration, not 0.22, but 0.66 um, moles. Whoops, I have this upside down. This is actually the kilogram per mole, excuse me, on the um, on the uh, constant value, and then for the moal, it's moles per kilogram, pardon, and so that all cancels. I'm in units of degrees Celsius, and so my freezing point depression is um, 1.22 degrees Celsius. So that means that the freezing point of this particular solution is depressed by 1.22, and if the normal freezing temperature um, for water is equal to zero degrees Celsius, then the freezing uh, temperature for this particular solution is going to be equal to negative 1.22 degrees Celsius. Okay, so you got to watch it. If it's an ionic compound, which I recognize calcium chloride is an ionic compound, I need to account for all the ions. Now, occasionally, um, the calculated uh, change in temperature might be slightly less than what one would expect for the given number of ions because sometimes when you have, and it de totally depends on the ions and the concentration and everything else, sometimes you have a little bit of ion pairing where temporary the calcium might hook up with a chloride anion and together they'll exist as a pair which would be counted as just one particle instead of two. And so if this happens in your solution then um, your calculated um, freezing point or your measured freezing point uh, depression might be slightly uh, different than if the solution were behaving ideally. But for now we're just going to assume that this solution behaves ideally. The ion pairing does not occur. Each ion um, acts as an individual unit. So since the original concentration was 0.22, if I multiply that concentration uh, by the total number of ions per formula unit, which is 3, then I use the, um, the 0.66 molal concentration instead of the 0.22.